Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Hearts Football Manager 2023 career mode. Things are going that well though. Things are going pretty shit actually to be honest. Uh, four defeats in our last five games. The only game we didn't lose was of course a 2-1 win in the league away to Mullerwell at Fur Park. I'm, I'm grateful for that win. We, but we really should be, we should have better results than that, you know. Losing in the Europa Conference League to Florentina, then we lost at home at Tynecastle in the Cinch Premiership to St Mirren, that was a bad one, 2-0 defeat. Then we lost in Denmark, which sucked Jesper Jonsson with the goal to give Silkberg the lead, 1-0. Uh, we've got the win against Mullerwell that we mentioned there, and then we got knocked out of the Premier Sports quarterfinal in the extra time. Rangers beating us 2-0 uh, after after 90 minutes. You know, solid game, created chances, didn't take any of the chances, then we got, then we got punished in the second half. So yeah, has it been good enough? No. But we need to start changing it around. In terms of the league, though, we're actually somehow in fifth place. So I'm not too sure how. You can see a lot of the teams are underperforming. Uh, Rangers underperforming. Aberdeen underperforming. Um, there's a lot of teams, you could argue, are underperforming. Only team not underperforming is Celtic. They're doing pretty well. As are Hibs, you know, they're sitting in second place. But yeah, we're, we're doing bad, in my opinion. We've only won three games at our first eight. Yet, we're only two points behind Rangers. So, it just goes to show you that we're not a million miles off a, like, one of the, the top teams, you know, one of the old firm sides. But still, points tally-wise, I, I would have liked to have cu accumulated more than 12 points out of the opening. Uh, many games we played, 24. So, what, many, three times, three eights, three six, 24. Yeah, so got half the amount of points that we could have realistically got, which is it's not bad. But I'd like to be averaging a wee bit more than that. So, yeah, we've got half the total points that we could have possibly got. But yeah, it's not enough. You can see Celtic, they're running away with the league. Look, looks like the league's gone already. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to catch them. My goal at the start of the season, as always, is to finish third. I do feel like we've got the third best team by quite a bit. So, anything less than third, I'd be really disappointed with. And at the moment, we're only three points behind Hibernian, who I expect to be challenging for third. So, I mean, overall, I can't say it's too bad. But I do feel like the next couple of episodes could make or break the season. If we go on and get some important wins, then things will be looking good. But if we get some defeats in the next few games, then <laughs> let's be real. Things will be looking very, very bad. And we don't want that. So with that said, let's get in to the next game. We're taking on Rangers in the league. They beat us. They beat us in the Premier Sports Cup. So it's only fair that we get revenge and get the win in the Synth Premiership. It's not all doom and gloom, though. Some good news. Craig Gordon played against Ukraine in an International Nations League match. I guess well, that's what the European International League is, Nations League. Anyway, Scotland beat Ukraine by three goals to nil. Similar scoreline. It's just a shame we couldn't have beat them when it mattered. Or else we'd be at the fucking World Cup, but no. We had to purposely lose, because, oh, Ukraine, man, save Ukraine. Fuck that shit, man. I, can't I still cannot believe Graham Souness came out and says we should let Ukraine win. What a dafty. And honestly, if Graham Souness is thinking that, then what were the rest of the Scotland squad thinking going into that important game? We should have been thinking nothing but let's get this win. Let's do it for our country. We shouldn't have been having any second thoughts. But I, I have been thinking about that ever since that happened, to be fair. I mean, if Graham Souness was saying that we should let Ukraine win, I wonder what the rest of the Scotland squad was thinking as well. But anyway, regardless, it's done and dusted. But it is nice to see Craig Gordon pick up uh, a win there, clean sheet, played 90 minutes, 7.5 rating, that's good stuff, that's why he's the man, that's why he's the number one keeper in Scotland, and more importantly, he's our keeper, so I'm hoping that he wants to stay playing football for another couple of years at least, don't get me wrong, I've got Sander Clark, I'm happy we're back on goalkeeper, but Craig Gordon's a fucking legend, man, and it's always a sad day when he retires and, and a football manager save, so here's hoping that Craig Gordon, I mean, I wish I could find like magic dust that kept him young, he doesn't, even, he doesn't even need to get younger, just keeps him at the same age as he is now. Because let's be real, 39-year-old Craig Gordon's better than half the other keepers in their, their, their 20s. So, yeah, Craig Gordon, what a guy. Big, big win there for Scotland. Another thing I noticed just before we get to the Rangers game, Celtic lead the way with the Scotland national team production. So basically Celtic have the most players playing international football for Scotland. They have three we have St Mirren, Aberdeen and Rangers all have two players, whereas we only have one. That kind of annoys me. I don't like that. I would like us to contribute more 
to the Scottish national team. I think we can definitely do better. I think we can definitely offer the national side more than one player. I mean, we've got a lot of good Scots that play for us. Take away Craig Gordon. We have Craig Halkett. We have Barry Mackay. We have Stephen Kingsley. I would like those players to start pushing and start getting called up to the Scotland squad. Now, I would just like it, to be honest, if we were actually producing more Scottish internationals. But I think we've got the players there. It's just, for some reason, Steve Clark hasn't picked them. But I thought this was um, something definitely worth noticing. And it, it's kind of mad that St Mirren are producing more Scottish national players than we are. Now, I do assume this is across all levels, so it will include the under-21s as well, the under-19s, but still, I would like to think that we could do better than just Craig Gordon in the Scotland setup. but that's something that I looked at, and that's something that I want to address going forward, because it, it looks better, I mean, if you produce more Scottish players, it's just I think it says more about your club and the level you're at, so yeah, to only have one player in the Scotland setup it is pretty poor for me, especially when Queen's Park have the same amount of players in there, I say players should be player, because it's not plural, it's, it's singular, so yeah, not good enough, we need to get more players into the Scotland national team and it'll, it'll benefit us as well benefit Scotland it'll benefit us it'll benefit fucking everybody so yeah that's what I'm thinking anyway let's go let's take on Rangers all right so here we go after what seemed like the longest week ever we've arrived at Tencast we're ready to take on Rangers in the Cinch Premiership and this is how the teams are lining up so we're going with Craig Gordon in Nets Atkinson Halkett Kingsley and Cochrane the back four Haring and Keel I'm, I'm gonna try and pronounce his full name fuck it here we go Keel Mortsasoglu did I get close did I get it right? Don't know. We'll just call him Keel. Uh, Snodgrass in front of those two. Then it's Janelli Mackay on the wings. And I'm going to go with Lauren Shankland up front. I believe that's probably close to our strongest 11. We still have Benjamin, uh, Benjamin to come back. We still have Cammy Devlin to come back as well. Once they two do, I'm sure they will slot right into the midfield. But for now, we're going to have to... It's hard. It is hard dealing with it two, of your, two of your best centre midfielders. But at the moment... We're going to have to because that's just how the cookie crumbles. And unfortunately, it didn't crumble very good for us. Al McGregor lines up nets for Rangers. We've got James Tavernier, Goldson, Davies and Yelmas. They're back four. In front of that, you have Jack, Sands and Matondo, Tillman, Arfield and Morelos. So yeah, there you go. Rangers proving that they favour Alfredo Morelos. That bam, that overweight bam over Antonio Kolak. I think I'd prefer Kolak to be honest, but no. Rangers went with Morelos up front. Will he be easier for our defenders to handle? Here's hoping. I'm hoping so. Let's see here. This is our, yeah, this is it. For me, it's pointing the finger. It's our chance to get revenge on Rangers. We should have beat them in the cup game. We didn't. So now we need to make up the fans. We need to make sure we beat them here. We cannot lose to Rangers back to back. Right? That just cannot happen. Look at that recent form. It's enough to give you a fucking heart attack. Nightmares. I'm seeing red. Too much red, to be honest. And um, yeah, it's four defeats in five games. It's, it's just not good enough. I mean, it's, it's really not. Even for a shit team, <laughs> you wouldn't really accept that. So for hearts... We're definitely not accepting it. And we have actually dropped out of the top five. So based on some results from yesterday, we do no longer find ourselves in those European places. So this is a big, big game for us here. And it's a game that we need to get a result in. Not necessarily saying we need to win this, but we, we can't afford to lose this. We just cannot lose back-to-back -back games here to Rangers. And like I said, we've been losing too many games lately. So it's time that... You know, we, we stopped that raw and we actually put in a decent run and we need to start here today. So let's do it. It's Keo out wide here to Alex Cochrane. He's got been Mackay in front of him, but chooses not to use him. Cochrane spins around, gets past. I think that's Tavernier. Cochrane shot blocked. Then it's into the hands of McGregor. Easy catch there. McGregor comes out, gallows it with both hands. Pretty simple in the end. Yeah, uh, yeah, Tavernier now he's been booked. Three minutes in, he's already picked up a booking. No, oh, Craig Gordon saves it. I think he saved it. Tavernier gets it back. Tav. Cochrane comes across. Good challenge for Cochrane. Wins it, plays it out to Barry Mackay. Barry Mackay has got pace. Mackay comes inside, finds Snodgrass, Snodgrass through to Shanklin, Shanklin must score, oh my god, saved by McGregor, how's Shanklin no scored that, Jesus fucking Christ man, really, one on one, and he, he hits it right at him, Warren Shanklin man, really man, what an, what an opportunity, great chance to take the lead, how the fuck have we not scored that, I can't believe it, can't believe it man, Atkinson throws it, 
Ah, uh, we brought the Matondo. Referee's played on here. It's Tillman. Finds Jack. Now it's Bobby Sands. Actually, no, it's fucking James Sands. It's it's one now. It's Alfredo Morelos. The guy that I was calling overweight and fat. He's came back to bite me in the ass. I know he's fat. I know he'll, he'll take a bite out of anything, but I didn't think he'd be biting my ass today. Fuck. 17 minutes in, we're 1-0 down. And we should have been 1-0 up, man. It's, I think it's all Lauren Shanklin's fault. Let's shout at the players here. We need to encourage them. I cannot believe Lauren Shanklin missed that, man. That has almost sent me into depression mode, but we're not quite beat yet. Come on, we're, we're still in this game. Tavernier whips a ball and he finds Morelos. Morelos stabs at it for about 20 odd yards. That's not going to beat Craig Gordon. No way. And uh, thankfully for us, it did not. But yeah, 28 minutes now. We're approaching the half, uh, the half an hour mark of the first half. Still in the game, but nah, man, we should, we I, I cannot believe we did not not go one 0 up, man. It's it's abysmal. It really is abysmal. Atkinson now bursts a pace, finds Cochrane. Keo, oh, I thought it was in. Ball skimmed the top of the net. I thought Keo banged that in there. Finessed it top bins. It looked like it. Definitely looked like it, but nah, it found the top netting. And unfortunately, guys, that chance comes to an end. And that is it. We're going to half time. It's Rangers 1, Hearts nil. We're in the game, but it's not It's not exactly where we want to be. We'd rather be in the game leading it than in the game and behind. But uh, let's see. Um, I want a much better display in the second half. Come on, Shanklin. What can I say to Shanklin? Can I tell him he's shite for missing that? Well, he already seems motivated, so we'll, we'll, we'll give him a break. But yeah, I mean, he, he needs to do more. He needs to do more. Uh, Snodgrass in short to Keogh. Kingsley. It is Stephen Kingsley just launching a ball up. Barry Mackay's there. Tavernier and Barry Mackay contested for it. The highlight kind of finished. So I don't know who got the best of it, who got the worst of it. But didn't lead to a Hearts goal. So that's all I care about. Corner for Hearts. Could this lead to a goal though? Here we go. Robert Snodgrass. Good delivery. It's fatal. He's going to take on the left foot. Snodgrass whips it in near post to Ginelli. Across the box. Shanklin goal. That is why you don't doubt Lauren Shankland. That is why you don't shout at Shanky at half time. Because you know he's going to deliver that sort of performance, that sort of header. He's going to give you that goal in the second half. He knew it was a horror miss and he's made up for it here. Lovely stuff. We're back in the game. It's 1 1. Another corner. Snodgrass. Ginelli at the near post. Damn it. I thought we were going to get a back to back brace there. Come on, Snodgrass. Plays it short. Harring. Deflection. After the cross. Matondo. Halk it back out to Snodgrass. Here we go. Come on, Snoddy. Snoddy goes back to Craig Halkett. Halkett into Keogh. Haring, good play here for Hearts. It's a chance. Oh, what was that? It's a great fucking chance. I think we might have been offside. Lauren Shankland, yeah, he was offside. Imagine if he was onside, though. Holy crap, man. We were clean through there, but no. Couldn't they take it, unfortunately? Snodgrass back through to Shankland. Shankland just doesn't have the pace now, though, to go on to that. Maybe he's, maybe he's ran his race here, 61 minutes in. He has gave it a lot, to be fair. Here we go, it's Matondo, cuts back, finds Redfan, and Redfan Yelmas is nowhere near the target with that shot. In fact, he's a million miles away. That's really, really poor there from Yelmas. Rangers now get Morelos into the book, and then that's when you know, that's when you know things going to get feisty here. Morelos on a yellow card, right? We are going to make some changes. Hopefully we just get everybody to piss Morelos off and... Try and get him sent off. Um, Keel's not had a great game. Who do we bring on? I think we'll bring on Andy Halliday. I always feel nervous of bringing Andy on against Rangers because I've uh, got to question how much he actually wants to win. But no, we'll, we'll give him a chance. Um, Barry McKay's not having a good game. I'm going to bring on Alan Forrest and we'll let those changes do for now. Shankland is pretty tired though. Yeah, Shankland kind of does need to come off. But what options do we have in terms of up front? We don't really have anybody. Boyce wasn't available. Uh, thingy, um, Humphreys wasn't available. So, yeah, we, we kind of do need to play Shankland here. I mean, you can play Josh Ginelli as a, a forward. So, I mean, you could maybe do that. Um, but he's having a good game. But he, he is kind of tired. You know what? I think we'll, we'll do that. We'll play Josh Ginelli as a advanced forward. And we will... We'll bring on, you know what, I'll bring on Gary Mackay Steven. He's played well. Gary Mackay Steven's actually been all right when we've brought him on and he's had chances. So, you know, we'll give him a chance against Rangers. Can't say fairer than that. Cannot say fairer than that. The guy's actually performed whenever he's got an opportunity this season. So we're going to give him an opportunity right here, right now. Let's see, can we try and get a bit more direct with the passing? 
We are going to try and get more direct here. Uh, 12 minutes to go. We're going to see if we can demand more for the team. And we are going to go a bit more positive. Here we go. Snodgrass, free kick into the box. Headed away. Uh, you need to win this. Atkinson will get to it first. Out to Halkett. Halkett. Finds Kingsley. Stephen Kingsley. Rocket. Oh! What a, that was a rocket. A rocket ship. As Buzz Lightyear would call it for Stephen Kingsley, but it was saved, unfortunately, from Alan McGregor. Now it's Snodgrass from this corner. Come on, good delivery, son. Good delivery. Need that back post. Head of the way, and it's Arfield first to it. Arfield now. Those old legs trying to do a counter attack, but not really happening. Barry Mackay, Stephen. That's Mackay, Stephen, even Gary Mackay. Gary Mackay, Barry Mackay sound the fucking same, but that's it. they haven't really delivered much in this game. Doesn't matter who you're. Talking about Gary or Barry, man. They've both been pretty poor. Ball in. Head all the way. Down to Fashion Sakala. And that is typical Fashion Sakala. Missing the target by a million miles. I mean, that sums him right up. Four minutes he had it on time. Here we go. It's a throw in. Atkinson, come on. We need to try and push for this. It's Ginelli. Back to Atkinson. Whips one in. It's a dangerous ball. But Golden gets rid of it. Fashion Sakala flicks it on as far as Cochrane. Cochrane. Back to Andy Halliday. Andy Halliday's ball's poor, but it's Forrest must do it. Yes! Alan Forrest has scored. He's done it. With 92 minutes gone. Alan Forrest, the, oh, it's Tavernier. The flag's doing. It's a goal. It's counting. It's a goal. We'll take that. It's a fucking goal. Let's, oh no, right. we need to get every man fucking back here. Right, let's calm, the, let's calm it down. Let's slow the tempo to get everything back, right? Slow to get this tempo back to fuck, right? So is that, get that done. Um, play for set pieces. Inter regroup, hold shape, slow the pace down. Um, roll it. Uh, take long kicks, get the ball far as, as far away as possible. Drop this line down. Drop that line down as far as you can fucking drop it. Why don't you drop off? Uh, stay on feet. Stop crosses, I right? Stop the crosses, boom. Trap outside. Boom. This is it. This has to do it. Come on, Kamara whips it in. It's going to be Tavernier's. Halkett clears it away. Surely that's it. Surely that's it. And that is it. Referee blows. We've done it. We've got three points. And not only is it a massive win over Rangers, we go above Rangers in the league table. Absolutely fucking outstanding. Buzzing. What a result, man. What a performance. Great. Get into the dressing room. Give everybody their, their fair dues, man. That was brilliant. You know, we came from 1-0 down. Everyone has reacted positively to that. So the players are all buzzing. I'm buzzing. Kai Rose, for some reason, seems nervous. What the fuck's he got to be nervous about, mate? We just won 2-1. We just went third in the league. We've overtaken Rangers. We got revenge after they knocked us at the Premier Sports Cup. Why are you not happy? I mean, look at the stats. 12 shots to 8 on target with 7 to 4. I think we deserved that win. Did well, went a goal behind, could have crumbled. We could have just, you know, felt sorry for ourselves. We could have rolled over like most teams, but no, we bounced back. We fought and we ended up getting the win out of it thanks to Lauren Shanklow and Equalizer. And then substitute Alan Forrest in the 93rd minute, pouncing on a Rangers mistake. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how you score the goals. The only thing that matters is you score them. And that is exactly what Forrest done with a minute remaining for time. So, you know, I'm absolutely delighted with that. Like I said, it's a win that takes us up to third place. We go above Rangers in the league. Incredible. Incred and we've not even had a good start this season, but yet we're, we're joint second almost. Hibs have better goal difference, but we've got the same amount of points. So, yeah, I mean, it's maybe, we need, maybe we're being too harsh on ourselves. Maybe the entire league's just close this year. I don't know. But we're, what, eight games in, nine games in, and we are joint. With Hibs in second place. You can't ask for much more than that. But yeah, what a win over Rangers. Did Alan Forrest get man of the match? Player, yeah, he deserves it. You know what? He got brought on as a sub, but he was a super sub. Because he was fucking super. He came on, got the winner. That, I mean, that's all you want. Seeing you bring on a sub. When you bring someone on at 1-1, if they come on and they get the winning goal to make it 2, you cannot ask for any more than that. That's all you can ask for. So, absolutely delighted. Uh, Hibs... Picked up a point, so we're no longer joint third now. But now we're we're just third. So <laughs> we're joint second now. We're, now we're just sitting in third. But you know what? I'll take that. We're only a point behind them. We'll catch them. They baller. So yeah, not too much to worry about there. We're doing, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. It's not every day you beat Rangers, but I tell you what, it's a fucking great day when you do the board monthly performance ratings in the the supporters monthly the C plus. C plus, so they're, 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 nah, they're not really happy. I mean, they're, they're okay. I thought maybe beating Rangers there would have 
got the board and fans slightly more on our side. But yeah, I can understand. The results aren't great. But we will turn it around. I'm sure we will. Player of the week, Ao Obali. I wonder if he's someone that we could potentially... A 9.4 rating. Holy shit. 9.4 rating. Hmm. Nigerian. Is he would be a good sign, and maybe, maybe, maybe someone we can keep an eye on, keep tabs on him. But for now, we don't need to sign anybody. We've got the best team in Scotland. We just beat the Angels. That's all that matters. But we've got another massive game coming up next. Four days time before it's like it's almost like before you even get a chance to breathe. You need to get fucking rushed into your next ninety minutes, and our next ninety minutes is going to be against Olympiacos at Tynecastle. At least we don't need to travel, which is good news. That's better than nothing. But yeah, it's still going to be hard. You know, you've got the best team in, probably the best team, or one of the best teams in Greece coming to Scotland for Europa Conference League. Come on, we're loving life at the moment. All right, we may not be winning every game, but holy shit, the games are coming thick and fast. League games, cup games, European games, all these big, massive games. And we're just rolling around in these games like a pig and shit, man. Life's great, but it'll be even greater if we get three points against Olympiacos. Alright, so here is the UEFA Europa Conference League group ahead of our next game against Olympiacos. You can see two games have been played for every team, and we find ourselves bottom of the group. Not great. We've lost both opening games 1-0. Florentina, you can almost understand losing that game 1-0. I think we should have won in Denmark against Silkberg, but unfortunately we lost that. And it pretty much means that we have to beat Olympiacos here to have any chance of getting through in this group. We're at home. Win this game, we give ourselves a small chance. Anything but a win, and realistically, we're out. So, I'll be going for it. I'll be attacking from the first minute to the last minute, because we need to beat Olympiacos. We've been tight and we've been compact in this series, so, I don't know, two games in. Like I said, we've only conceded two goals, which is pretty good in Europe, but we haven't scored any. That is a problem. Olympiacos haven't conceded any, so it looks like it's going to be difficult. But we'll try. We will try our best. Let's go. Olympiacos at Tynecastle. We beat Rangers. Why can't we beat Olympiacos? That's the mindset we've got to have going into this big European night. Okay, so here's our team then that is lining up to take on Olympiacos. We've got Gordon in Nets, Cochrane, Civic, Halkett and Atkins in the back four. Haring in the anchor row. We've got Devlin coming back in. So looking forward to seeing what Cami Devlin can do. Has barely featured all season, but now he's back. So, yeah, hopefully he can get up and running as quickly as possible. His sharpness is pretty low, but we'll keep an eye on it. I thought, you know, at the massive game, though, he has to start. So he's going to be in the ball win in midfield position. Robert Snodgrass in front of them, role-playing uh, midfielder. Then we've got Ginelli. And I'm going to give a start to Alan Forrest. They got the winner against Rangers. Barry Mackay hasn't been doing much. So, yeah, I'm going to give Alan Forrest an opportunity. And, again, it's going to be Shankland up front. Now, a few changes that I've made going into this game that I didn't really have in the Rangers game was we're going to have the wing backs on attack both Cochrane and Atkinson expect them to be bombing forward helping Forrest and Ginelli get crosses into the box and just basically cause this Olympiacos defence all the problems in the world and mentality wise we're actually going to start on positive rather than balanced because like I say we need to win this game we're at home as far as I'm concerned, we're going to take it to Olympiacos right from the get-go. And I just hope that's enough to get us the win. Yeah, now, Cammy Devlin, like I know, he is lacking sharpness. I don't think he'll last the whole 90 minutes. But I felt like it's a big game. And I feel more comfortable with him starting. As to this, look at this Olympiacos team. Is there anybody you know? You've got, J well, you've got James Rodriguez. Straight away, we know him. Uh, massive player. It's actually f fucking feels weird that we're taking on a team that's got James Rodriguez in it. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's a good team. There's no doubt about it. But I, I do think that I don't think it's a better team than Rangers on paper. I mean, yeah, James Rodriguez in his prime was brilliant, but he's not in his prime anymore. So here we go. We have to take advantage of the home advantage tonight. We need to win this game. It's as simple as that, man. Right? Nothing. Don't come away with anything less than a win. We, there you go. That's it. That's the team talk done. Guys, we need to get the win. We need a win. We must win. So win. Just win. Just fucking win. Right? <laughs> I don't care at what cost. We just need to get the win. But there you go. There is the Olympiacos side. Rodriguez playing out on the left. Not too sure if that is his best position. I'd say with his pace gone. I think with his legs done, you'd rather play him in the midfield. But 
they've decided against that. And here we go, European Knights at Tynecastle. Europa Knights. That's brilliant, night. But if we want to stay in the Europa Conference League, we need to start winning games. We need to start right here, right now. So here we go, Socrates, man. I can't believe he is also in this team as well, man. What a, what a big-time player he was for Borussia Dortmund back in the day. Uh, here we go, it's, it's Olympiacos. Oh, oh, nice wee skill, but then he passed it all the way back to the keeper. don't know what that was all about. Olympiacos, so calm on the ball. I mean, every player, they look like they've... Oh, no, they're trying to... Cochrane had to deny that. It's for shallow, and it's, ah, it's going to go for a throw-in. But, yeah, Olympiacos, we're only 40 seconds in, and already they're, they're showing they've got ability on the ball. And they're, they're, they can just... They look dead calm and composed. You know, they do look like a quality side. Every player that you've seen got a touch of the body. They just look like they knew it today, but... But here we go. Does Devlin know what to do? He passes it back to Halkett. Halkett to Snodgrass. Snodgrass in to Ginelli. And it's a decent attempt. It's, it's way too high, though. It's over the bar. But I can see what he was going for. You know, the, the top left-hand corner was inviting. It was like saying, come on, put a ball on me, son. So he was like, yeah, I'll, I'll try. But unfortunately, he didn't pay off. But here we go. Forrest now, Cochrane. Whips a ball in back. Oh, let's go! It's Josh Ginelli. He couldn't have scored two minutes ago, but he scored now. He finds the back of the net. It's going to stand. He's celebrating with the fans. The Olympiacos fans are giving him the fingers. What the fuck's going on here? Could we have a brawl at Tynecastle? What are those Greeks doing? Greeky bastards, man. What? They're giving Josh the finger. We Josh, he comes over to celebrate, and the Olympiacos fans are going mental. They're no happy. Here we go. Ball back in. Shanklin's there. CC flicks it away. Olympiacos trying to survive, and Atkinson will chase it down. But what a start here for us. 20 minutes in Atkinson to Toby Civic. What can he do? Plays into Devlin, middle of the field. Devlin outside the boot to Alan Forrest, brings it down. Great control, and it's a corner. Oh, man. Olympiacos here went from looking composed and calm to looking ragged and fucked all over the place. And here we go, Snodgrass now. Chance for the corner. He's trying to make it two, headed away. Damn it. Devlin back into Shanklin. Shanklin, what are you doing? What are you? Oh, could be apparently not. I was desperate there. I was, I was waiting for a penalty. Shankland went down. He got he got sandwiched, basically. Squashed in between two players, but didn't see much in it. Here we go. Corner now. Florentina have taken the lead against Silkberg. They're 1-0 up. Nicolas Gonzalez with the goal. Ball flicked on goal! It's Josh Ginelli again. He's got a brace. He just scored seven minutes ago. And he's done it again, and he's celebrating in front of the Olympia Cottage fans, and they can't handle it. They do not like Josh Ginelli, but I fucking love him. Josh Ginelli too. Olympia Cosnell, Thursday nights, Europa nights, fucking Josh Ginelli nights. These nights were made for Josh Ginelli, and he's taking it straight to Olympia Cos, man. Get it fucking right up them, man. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant here. It's Hearts 2, Olympia Cosnell. We're approaching half time, right corner. We need to defend this. Come on. Pep Beal. Get something on it. Ah, oh, it's flicked away. It's James it's Rodriguez. He skips, oh, he's got past number, uh, no, no, come on, someone do so, oh, Atkinson just clears it away, <sighs> three minutes, they had it on time, I think we should have done better though, we should have got rid of that, it's half time though, we're, we're doing what we can do, we're doing everything that we can do at the moment, and that is win, first half stats, we've had five shots to their one, and what, five of our shots have led to two goals, so I've no, I've no issues with that, we're playing brilliant, let's see, let's keep it calm, hands on hips, uh, you're doing brilliantly. Keep it, keep going. That's the main point. We need to keep going. This battle's only half won. It might be two and a lot, but we cannot take our foot off the gas. We need to keep that pedal, that acceleration pedal straight down on the floor because we know Olympiacos, if they get a sniffy a chance, if they feel like they can get back in this game, then mark my words, they'll take it. So we need to do everything we can. We need to keep our hands wrapped around their throats. Atkinson whips it in. Shankly heads it towards goal. It's went wide of the target. It was a good cross for Atkinson, good run for Atkinson, but in the end, the head up for Shankland. Not good enough as it goes wide for our Olympiacos goal kick. But uh, yeah, no, we're in the second half. Things are settling down a little bit. And it uh, looks like they're making some substitutions here. We picked up yellow cards to Cochrane and Devlin. Ball now to Pep Beal. I don't know why. Oh, how can... Oh, and it's an excellent tack when it had to be. When I seen him sliding in the box here, I'm not going to lie, heart was in my mouth a little bit. And Craig Gordon just gathers that one easily for Craig Gordon. He could eat them all day fucking long in his sleep. Those balls are absolutely nothing. They've got nothing on Craig Gordon. But yeah, when Halkett went to slide on the box, man, I, I was panicking a wee bit. I'm not going to lie. Right, um, we've got, what, 20-odd minutes to go. Florentina are 3-0 up now against, um, against Silkberg. We are going 
Okay, they're going more attacking, so we're naturally going to lower the pace down a little bit. And I think we are going to get more narrow. And I don't like going defensive, but I believe that we're 2 0 up and we should look to try and hold on to what we've got. So we're going to try and slow the pace down, uh, slow everything down, really. And it's all about just seeing this out now. So they are making a bunch of substitutions. They're going for it. They know that they need, they need something to happen. They're trailing 2 0. They're the team that need to make it work. They need to do something, and oh, it's wide by Bama Baku. So if that went in 2 1, 20 minutes to go. Squeaky bum time, but we still have our two-goal lead with 19 minutes remaining. So I'm, I'm delighted with how things are going out of possession. We're going to get back. We're going to, yeah, so we're just going to, yeah, we're going to drop off. We're going to trap outside. And we're going to, uh, we're going to invite crosses because, yeah, we're just going to take care of it, basically. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take care of problems. At least that's what I'm hoping we do. Uh, let's let's make some substitutions here. Cameron Devlin's had a great game, but he has to come off. We're going to bring on Andy Halliday, Cochrane. The Cochrane, I want Cochrane. He's a bit tired. Did we bring? We could take off. He's on a yellow card. We're going to bring on Kai Rolls here. Um, do we maybe? Do I maybe go two at the back? And um, let me see here. Yeah, we're going to go three at the back. Screw it. We're going to. Oh shit! No, I've changed that about right. Need to squeeze him in there. Go, boom. So we need to take. We're going to take Snodgrass off, and we're going to bring on Lewis Nielsen. Or did I bring on Michael Smith? The Rolls Royce. To bring on Smith. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll bring on Smith. Uh, we'll move Smith and Sebek and Halkett. Halkett in the middle. Smith, Smith there. That looks good to me. And then the sort of. Yeah, I think we'll leave it at that. We'll get the wing backs to just defend, and uh, this hopefully. This will be us, you know, one step closer to the win. Um, eh, looks like Alan Forrest got a bit of a knock. Should we take Forrest off? Yeah, we'll take Forrest off. We'll bring on Ewan Henderson. We'll bring on Young Henderson for his pace. And we'll get my game. So here we go, Snodgrass. Out wide, it's attempted to come in for Atkinson. It falls for Devlin, who's about to get subbed off here. What can he do with his last contribution? Finds Halkett, Halkett to Civic. Snodgrass spins around, Snodgrass plays through Ginelli for the hat-trick, surely off the bar, Jesus Christ, Josh Ginelli, it really would be Ginelli Thursday nights, I would change the name of the day for Thursday to Ginelli if that went in, but no, crossbar denied Ginelli, a namesake day, fuck's sake man, come on, 12 minutes remain here, it's Pep Beal, back post, Atkinson, easy for Atkinson, no one near him, Ball played up. Shankland tried to contest it. Ginelli brings it down. Now Ginelli again on this attack on the right-hand side. Cuts back. Loses it here to Retzo. And maybe she should have done better there. Should have tried to get past him. He's on a yellow card. I, I would have used the pace. I would have tried to knock the ball past him and hope for the defender to maybe bring you down. But we've, we've won it back. Only to lose it again. It's James Rodriguez. Now he's played through Pep Beal. Oh, no. And it's a goal. Olympiacos are back in it with 11 minutes to go. This is not what we wanted. It's Hearts 2, Olympiacos 1. And I feel like we're beginning to feel the pressure now. Damn it. Right, let's go cautious. We need to shout. Let's tell the players to focus. And have we got any subs left? I think we've got one more substitution left in the tank. Two minutes to go. Who can come on here? Who can come on and just waste time and see what this game... Uninterested by the feedback. What the fuck? Right, we'll bring on Nielsen. We'll bring on young Nielsen here, and hopefully he's more interested in the feedback. But we just need to hold on. We're literally just minutes away here. Three minutes had it on time. Surely that is it. I mean, they've played, what, 93 minutes. We've got the throw in. It must be it. It is it. Final whistle. And there you go. Josh Ginelli's a hero. Fucking not all heroes wear capes. Josh Ginelli's wearing a fucking shirt with number 30 on it. But I tell you what, he's worth 30 as superheroes. Fuck Marvel, fuck DC. Josh Ginelli could beat them all up, right? I'd, I'd take Ginelli in a fight over Superman every day of the week. But what a win that is, man. Absolutely buzzing. Uh, nice work, everybody. That was good. Maybe even give them tomorrow off in training. We needed to win, and we did win. So, absolutely buzzing. Cochrane got a yellow. I couldn't give a shit, mate. Cochrane, yeah, he picked up a yellow card, but we won 2 1, so who cares? Who fucking cares? We've got ourselves right back into this group. Alan Forrest is going to be out for 
Okay, I care a wee bit about that, but still. Let's, can we actually enjoy this win here? Come on. Hearts to receive 431k. Brilliant. That's the kind of money we need. That is the kind of money I want to see coming into this club. That's why we need to not only be in European games, we need to be in European group stages, but we need to be winning them as well to make sure we're picking up the money. We are going to praise Janelle. You were superb in front of goal last time, mate. I'm absolutely delighted with you, son. You're, one, you're nearly the first name on the team sheet at the moment. I tell you that right now. In terms of wingers, I mean, he's head and shoulders above everyone else. I mean, Barry Mackay, what? No chance. It's Josh Janelli. It's the Josh Janelli show. Absolutely delighted with how Josh Janelli's playing at the moment. But yeah, up next, three days' time, we're Gilmarnock. That's going to be the next game in the next episode. Absolutely buzzing for it. We go into it with a shitload of confidence. We've just came off. Two, two one victories over Rangers and Olympiacos. If we can't beat Kelly after picking up wins over Rangers and Olympiacos, then what are we doing with our life? Seriously, what the fuck are we doing? Great chance for us to try and hold on to third place in the league. Maybe even possibly overtake our rivals, Hibs, for second. So yeah, going into that game will be massive. We've also got Olympiacos in the fourth match day of the Europa Conference League. And then we follow that up with Aberdeen. So next episode... Going to be massive. Big three away ties. Kelly, <laughs> Olympiacos and Aberdeen. So there you go. Air, Greece, fucking Aberdeen, man. What, what a trip that's going to be. Oh, man. We a lot of fuel on the jet. That's for sure. A lot of fuel on the engine. But that's it. That's it, guys. Till next time. Two big wins. Wouldn't have it any other way. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Leave a like. I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, been Sir Scotland any. Thanks for watching. Thank you, God, for the win. Thank you, God, for making sure Josh Janelli was given birth with two perfect feet. Thank you for everything. Good night.